What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have the latest and greatest from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S20, the latest and greatest from Huawei, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and of course the iPhone 11. So throughout this video I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures that I took during the day, of course I've included some um, portrait mode pictures and some pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these three devices, but I don't have any pictures taken with the zoom lenses because on the back of the iPhone 11 we don't have a telephoto lens. So I decided not to include any zoom on pictures. After those we are going to check out some nighttime pictures and of course for nighttime pictures I've used the night modes on all three devices. After those we are going to see some sample videos of course during the day and during the night and all the way at the end some selfies. Just in case you're wondering all the pictures were taken on auto mode and about um, a second apart from each other. So I just pointed the phones and took the pictures. And with that being said, why don't we start by checking out the daytime pictures and more specifically the portrait mode pictures. Alright, so looking at the portrait mode pictures that I took, I find that the Huawei Mate 30 Pro has the best um, edge detection around the subject, followed very closely by the iPhone 11 and then the Samsung Galaxy S20. Now for color accuracy, I feel that the iPhone 11 does the best, followed um, very closely by um, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and with the Galaxy S20 being the last one um, once again. And if you look at those pictures, the exposure isn't that um, right uh, for the pictures taken by the S20 and the Mate um, 30 Pro, because the hat is just way too bright, so overexposed. And for the pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S20, the subject's face is also overexposed. So for portrait mode pictures, I feel that the iPhone 11 does um, the best, followed by um, the Mate 30 Pro and then the S20. So check out the pictures and definitely let me know in the comments down below which device you prefer for portrait mode pictures. Moving on to pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses. Well, first of all, the iPhone 11 and the Samsung Galaxy S20 have wider fields of view than the Mate 30 Pro. So in a way they are better for ultra wide um, pictures basically. So looking at those pictures, well, most of the pictures, I think I prefer the pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S20 because the colors aren't as saturated. Well, for some pictures at least. So I would say that the Samsung Galaxy S20 does the best for um, pictures taken with the ultra wide lens followed by the iPhone 11 and then um, by the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. But again, take a look at these pictures and let me know what you think. Moving on to regular pictures. So pictures taken with the main lenses on the back of these three devices. Well, first of all, the Samsung Galaxy S20 does the best for dynamic range, followed very closely by um, the iPhone 11 and then with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro being the third one. Now for color accuracy you're gonna notice that um, the Samsung Galaxy S20 and uh, the iPhone 11 have more saturated colors. So if you're looking for the phone that has more realistic looking colors I feel that the Huawei Mate 30 Pro does um, the best. As for sharpness I feel that the Samsung Galaxy S20 does the best followed by the iPhone 11 and then um, by the Mate 30 Pro or the Mate 30 Pro is kind of equal um, to the iPhone 11 for sharpness. So I'll let you guys watch a few more pictures and definitely let me know what, um, what you think about the regular pictures. So pictures taken with the main lenses on the back of these three devices. So what do you think, which phone does the best for daytime pictures, the iPhone 11, the Mate 30 Pro or the Samsung Galaxy S20? Alright, then we are moving on to nighttime pictures and for nighttime pictures of course I use the night modes on the iPhone 11, the Mate 30 Pro and of course the S20. Looking at the picture sharpness, I have to say that the Mate 30 Pro has the sharpest pictures out of the three, followed very close by the S20 and uh, with the iPhone being the last one. Now if you look at those pictures you're gonna notice that the pictures taken by the iPhone 11 are the brightest but in some situations uh, the pictures don't look like it's nighttime anymore. But if you're into bright pictures uh, the pictures from the iPhone 11 will be the better ones for you. Me personally I prefer the Mate 30 Pro the way it, the, the way it exposes the pictures followed closely by the Samsung Galaxy S20 and then by the iPhone 11. So I'll let you guys watch a few more pictures, but definitely leave a comment down below and let me know um, what device you prefer for nighttime pictures.
And we are moving on to video recordings. Well, for video recordings, and um, first of all, for daytime video recordings, I feel that the iPhone 11 does the best to the main lens and with the ultra wide lens. The videos are sharper, the stabilization seems somewhat better than the other two, even though the stabilization on the Mate 30 Pro and uh, the S20 isn't, uh, isn't bad either. But I do prefer the colors and uh, the video sharpness from the iPhone 11 for um, daytime recordings. Now the sound recordings sound the best from the Mate 30 Pro, followed by the Samsung Galaxy S20 and lastly the iPhone 11. As for nighttime recordings, there is really no comparison. The Mate 30 Pro does better with the main lens or um, and with the ultra wide lens. So for low light, low light recordings, the Mate 30 Pro followed by the S20 and then the iPhone 11. So I'll let you guys watch those recordings and I'll be right back. This is a quick video recording between the iPhone 11, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20. So I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. I'm gonna pan right. Then back left. And we keep walking for a bit. This recording was done with the main lenses on the back of the three devices. So this is how a recording would look like between the iPhone 11, the Galaxy S20 and uh, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. We are moving on to yet another video recording between the iPhone 11, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20. For this recording I'm using the ultra wide lenses on the back of uh, the three devices and of course as always I am recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So I'm going to pan left slowly and back right. So this is how a recording between the, these three devices would look like if you are using the wide angle um, lens. We are moving on to yet another sample video between the iPhone 11, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and of course the Samsung Galaxy S20. For this recording I am recording in 4K 30 frames per second and I'm also using the ultra wide lenses on the back of these um, three devices. As you can probably see for yourself I am walking and it's also a bit windy. So I'm gonna stop here, we'll pan right slowly. And then we'll back pan, uh, we'll pan uh, back left. So this is how a recording from these three devices looks like. All right, so for this recording, I'm using the front facing cameras on the iPhone 11, on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, and of course, uh, the Samsung Galaxy. S20. Now the videos don't look identical because I have this one in the center and the other one to the left and to the right. So um, with the iPhone 11 and the Galaxy S20 we can record in 4K with the front facing cameras where with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro we can only do 1080p. So this is how a recording from all these three devices would look like with the front facing cameras if walking on a sunny day. All right, we have a quick um, video test in low light, as you can probably see, between the iPhone 11, the Huawei Mate um, 30 Pro, and of course the Samsung Galaxy S20. I'm currently recording in 4K 30 frames per second, and as you can probably see for yourself, um, I am walking. So I'm gonna pan left. I am recording with the main lenses on the back of these three devices. Then we'll pan back right. and keep walking for a bit. And for our second video test in low light, I'm using the ultra wide lenses on the back of the S20, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, and of course, um, the iPhone 11. So from what I'm seeing on the screens here, um, the Mate 30 Pro does seem to do the best with this lens, but of course, I'm gonna have to see how the footage actually looks um, on the computer. So I'm just gonna walk slowly this way. I'm gonna stop here and pan left slowly. So this is our recording from um, the iPhone 11, the Mate 30 Pro and the Galaxy S20 would look like at night with the ultra wide lenses.
And lastly, we are gonna move on to selfies. Well, first of all, we are starting with some daytime selfies. Well, for daytime selfies, I feel that the iPhone 11 does the best out of the three, followed by um, the Samsung Galaxy S20 and then um, with the Mate 30 Pro being the last one. Now, looking at nighttime selfies, I feel that the um, Samsung Galaxy S20 does best for those, followed by, I'm gonna say, the Mate 30 Pro and then the iPhone um, 11. So there you have it, the iPhone 11 versus the Mate 30 Pro and the Galaxy S20. So which one do you think is the best overall for videos, daytime, nighttime pictures, which one do you prefer? Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.